Friends, in today's video we will see, how is, the opening of air to open, and, air to closed, control valves. According to, 4 to 20 milliampere signal, we will also discuss, why, smart positioners are mostly used. See friends, air to open control valve, starts opening after giving air signal. In this control valve, air is supplied from the bottom of the diaphragm. And, air to close control valve, starts closing on giving air signal. In this control valve, air signal is supplied, above the diaphragm. This air signal is given to the control valves, according to the 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Using the valve positioner, these valve positioners may be pneumatic positioners, electro-pneumatic positioners, or smart positioners. Let's friends, consider these openings of the control valves, by drawing a table. In this table, we will write milliampers. Then, percentage valve operate. After this, we will write air to open control valve. And, then, air to close control valve. Milliampere side we will write. 4 milliampere, 8 milliampere, 12 milliampere, 16 milliampere, and 20 milliampere. Let's understand it further. Look friends, at 4 milliampere, valve operates. 0%. Here, you need to keep, one concept in mind. At 4 mA, many of the people think that, valve opening is, 0%. But, this is not applicable. On all the control valves, you can say it like this. At 4 mA, control valve will operate, 0%. So, this sentence is correct, not that, at 4 mA, the valve will open, 0%, with this concept, you will understand everything. When, we take air to open control valve, and, when it will operate, 0%, so, its percentage opening will be, 0%, but, when we take air to close control valve, and, it will operate 0%, then, its opening percentage will be, 100%. Similarly, at 8 mA signal, it will be, 25%. Now, the opening percentage of, air to open control valve is, 25%. Now, how much will the air to close control valve operate? This will also operate, 25%, so, earlier it was, 100%. If, we subtract 25 from this, it will become, 75%. Now, at 12 mA signal, it will be, 50%, so, the opening percentage of, air to open control valve is, 50%, and, the opening of air to close control valve will be, 100 minus 50 percentage, so, it will become, 50 percentage. Similarly, at 16 mA signal, valve operate percentage is, 75 percentage, so, air to open control valve opening will be, 75 percentage, and, air to close control valve opening will be, 100 minus 75. So, it will come, 25%. Similarly at 20 mA signal, it will be, 100%. Now, the opening percentage of, air to open control valve is, 100%, and, air to close control valve opening will be, 100-100%, minus means, 0%. Friends, here you need to keep in mind that, when, we see the opening of, air to close control valve. We will subtract it from 100, like, at 0%. It was 100 minus 0, means, 100%, 100 
at 25 percentage it will be 100 minus 25 means 75 percentage at 50 percentage 100 minus 50 means 50 percentage at 75 percentage 100 minus 75 means 25 percentage and at 100 percentage 100 minus 100 means 0 percentage and air to open control valve will operate exactly like this 0 percentage at 0 50 at 50 75 at 75 and 100 percentage at 100 so friends let's discuss why smart positioners are mostly used there are a few reasons why smart valve positioners are preferred first one is digital display the smart positioner comes with a digital display which shows your input signal valve position and so on this makes it very easy to use next is performance feedback when we use normal electro pneumatic positioner the position feedback signal of valve has to be taken separately which normally fails after some time so valve's opening percentage have to be seen in the field Smart Positioner has inbuilt valve position indicator. And, you also get the feedback of the position of the valve. Next is, Advanced Control. Smart valve positioners provide precise and accurate control of valve position. They have advanced algorithms and feedback mechanism for fine-tuning the valve position. This improves process control and stability and helps in maintaining the desired process parameters next is communication and integration smart valve positioners are equipped with a communication protocol such as heart field bus or profibus it can be integrated with distributed control systems means dcs and automation systems and this provide control valves Real-time monitoring and control. Next is Diagnostic capabilities By identify potential issues early. Smart positioners can prevent unexpected valve failures and reduce downtime. Next is Auto calibration. Calibration was a lengthy process and required an experienced person that is reduced by using the smart positioner in this both manual and auto calibration types can be done this is a very good feature of smart valve positioners this makes valve calibration process so easy you only need to start auto calibration mode and valve is automatically calibrated Next is energy efficiency. Smart valve positioners also reduce energy consumption because unnecessary valve movement and air consumption in the actuator is reduced. These can be programmed to operate in specific control modes. Overall, smart valve positioners have digital display, advanced functionality, auto calibration, diagnosis, and provide integration capabilities as compared to non-smart valve positioners. So, precise control is achieved. Reliability is improved. Maintenance costs are reduced.